What game engine does Cyberpunk 2077 use? From the creators of The Witcher comes to us Cyberpunk 2077. With the company's track record and the incredible effort put into marketing, the hype for Cyberpunk's release was off the charts. However, upon release, the disappointment in the game was immeasurable. The game was littered with glitches, bugs, and everything in between. Some say the disappointment was due to the company's indulgence in marketing, causing hype and expectations that are way too hard to be met. Still, the technical issues in the game make us wonder, why a publisher with such a good track record has this happened to them? In an attempt to understand this, let us take a look at the engine the game used. Let's start from the beginning. CD Projekt developed Red Engine to replace the Aurora engine that they used for the development of The Witcher. The engine ended up powering Cyberpunk towards the end of its lifetime. So what's Red Engine all about? Let's find out. Red Engine is a game development engine portable across 32 and 64-bit platforms running under Windows. CD Projekt built this engine to develop its Witcher games, starting from the second installment, Assassins of Kings. It is known that the game an engine is made for will be what the engine does best. And for this reason, the publisher used this engine solely for developing their non-linear role-playing titles. Red Engine 2 CD Projekt went ahead and updated their new engine for it to simply become Red Engine 2. The engine with the new update runs on more platforms such as Xbox, Mac OS, and Linux. How was this achieved was by using a compatibility layer called Eon. With this new compatibility, the publisher used the engine to port The Witcher 2 into Xbox. Red Engine 2 had Havoc for its physics, Scaleform GFX for its interface, and FMOD for its audio, using middleware, which is a software that provides services to another software not available from the operating system. Red Engine 3 after Red Engine 2 came out, you guessed it, Red Engine 3. As per usual, this new engine is an updated version of its predecessor. Now, Red Engine only runs on 64-bit platforms and can deploy games on a plethora of platforms such as PlayStation and Nintendo Switch on top of the previously mentioned platforms. Another thing that makes Red Engine 3 a bit more special than its predecessor is that CD Projekt updated the engine to be able to deal with open-world games. The update also improved a plethora of the engine's facets such as cinematic effects like color grading and lens flare. It also improved animation, for instance, facial animation. It improved lighting effects, volumetric effects, which improved the rendering of the elements such as fog, clouds, and other particle effects. Other things the engine improved are high-resolution texture, mapping, dynamic physics, and an advanced dialogue lip-syncing system. With all of these exciting new features and improvements, the publisher used Red Engine 3 to develop The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Red Engine 4 you have been endlessly talking about Red Engine and giving examples about The Witcher and The Witcher only. Where is Cyberpunk? It's important to know that CD Projekt's Red Engines improved over time to be able to work on Cyberpunk because all of the previously mentioned elements are part of Red Engine 4, which powered Cyberpunk. Red Engine 4 would be the last Red Engine, but more on that later. So. Red Engine 4 powered Cyberpunk 2077, right? And it is still being used for the development of the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 expansion. With all of the previous improvements the engine had, plus now supporting ray-traced global illumination and dynamic lighting effects, the engine was able to make Cyberpunk visual candy. Especially since the game is set in the metropolis of Night City. The ray tracing and other lighting effects really came in handy in this game, with so many neon futuristic lights and billboards and what have you. If you would like to see the ray traced global illumination and dynamic lighting effect, we highly recommend you take a look at a playthrough of the game on PC. You will be floored. We can clearly see the improvements of the engine throughout all of these years come to fruition in Cyberpunk. Now Red Engine is officially retired and is going to be replaced with the latest Unreal Engine 5 to develop an unnamed new Witcher game. It is quite incredible to see how Red Engine improved all these past years and has been able to give us such wonderful games with The Witcher and Cyberpunk. It is a testament to the greatness of technology, but all great things come to an end and this video is no exception. So with all of this being said, we hope you enjoyed our video and learned something new and exciting. Be sure to let us know if we missed anything or if you liked anything in particular about our video. Alright, see you around!